In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. You can see here I've added one flower pot uh, with the shadow effect. When I click the first uh, one stem comes and then the big leaf, you can see here with the different color combination. When I click, it will show the second leaf, third one, fourth and fifth. You can see with all different color combinations and when i click one arch will come and then you can add your detailed text here and if you are not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose this right triangle, draw the right triangle, something like this, shape outline, make it no outline, then go to rotate. You can see here, I can make it flip vertical. If you want, you can keep it at top also, no problem with that. So now what you need to do is I'm going to edit this shape. How to do that one? So right mouse click and say edit point. You can see three points here. So the very top right point, I'm going to right click and I'm going to make it a smooth point here. Okay, it looks something like this. All right, then I'm going to make move upwards a little bit like this. And here also at the bottom, click again. And this also you can make it somewhat more like this all right so we end up getting a shape something like this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add few lines on this one so let me just put this one here let me just zoom in so that you can see what exactly i'm trying to do go to insert shapes and either you can just take this a curve shape or you can take a free form shape so let me just take a free form shape from the center okay from here i can just click here double click all right and then if i want again right mouse click edit point i can just edit like this you can see here whichever way you want all right and this one this line i'm going to give the color as white then right mouse click go to format shape and go to the uh, fill and lines go to the lines and increase the transparency like this so some more transparent i need like this all right so like that i'm just going to duplicate this one rotate it sorry just put it this one here all right and then you can again change the size so i'm just going to duplicate like this all right whichever direction you need again edit points i can just say that it should come like this all right whichever way again control d rotate a little bit put it here so like different different sizes you can create it okay like this and again make it more bigger and put it here control d all right and then you can just add a few here also just let me just rotate a random shapes you can put not necessary that okay you have to follow the same pattern all right so i just put something like this let me just zoom out i'm going to select all the objects press ctrl g to group it okay and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d move this aside then go to the shape formats rotate i can make it flip horizontal and then attach both of these all right and then here i'm going to give a different color of your choice whichever color which you feel uh, comfortable with maybe i can just give some teal color and here i'm going to give some light teal color here all right okay this is very light so we need to just give more kind of a colors like this you can see here something like this so once this is done again i'm going to select this one press ctrl g to group it and then move this aside all right now let me just add one flower pot first so go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this trapezoid draw the trapezoid all right and then rotate this one i can make it flip vertical all right 
and then I'm going to add one more shape go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle make it more corner and put it exactly in the center shape outline I'll make it no outline all right and then you can give some shadow effect for this at the bottom all right and these colors you can just change to any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give a kind of a brown look here you can see here this also brown again if you want you can just change to some other color so now let me just put this here and then if you want to add some shadow go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm making it black then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here if you want you go to the fill and line and increase the transparency something like this you can see then i'm just going to put it here in the center and then send this to back if you want to reduce the size you can just reduce the size also depending on the requirement and make sure that all the lines which are i'm selecting should not be no line okay all right now once this is done let me just draw a stem for this one so go to sorry control z go to insert shapes i'm going to choose a line here i can make it a straight line or i can just use this freeform shape also which should come from here and until here just double click this all right and this one i'm going to make the width increase the width okay and color i'm going to give some green color all right again i want to increase more width so that it should be visible all right and then send this to back so you can see here this one it comes like this all right now I'm going to add few more leaves so press ctrl D to duplicate reduce the size by holding the shift key rotate a little bit okay and you can just put it here like this and then again depending on your requirement you can just give some different color combination okay for this also I'm going to give the same color orange but I'm going to make it more lighter or more darker depending on the requirement okay so you can give it sees uh, looking like two different uh, shapes here then again go to insert shapes again from the lines i'm going to select the freeform shape starting from here just click till here okay double click and then same size i want so i can just select this line go to the home format painter and click on this if you want to change the color of the line you can just change make it more lighter and then right mouse click edit point and you can see this point at the top i'm just going to make it like this just do something like this then send this to back all right so this is the second one again i'm going to copy this one press ctrl d rotate the shape i can rotate it flip horizontal give some different color combination now maybe a blue and a light blue color combination okay again if you want you can just put it the same direction or you can change the direction then i'm going to copy the same thing press ctrl d to duplicate rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal again put it here reduce the size or if you want to edit right mouse click edit point and you can just edit like this also okay and then this also send this to back okay now depending on your requirement how many uh, different leaves you want you can just add one by one press ctrl d reduce the size a little bit i'm going to put it here this color again i'm going to give maybe a kind of a purple all right you can see here more colors and maybe i'm going to give more light color here all right so you can see it looks like this and again the same thing i'm going to do insert shapes either i can choose this freeform shape or i can do change copy this one existing one so i'm just copying this one press ctrl d put it in the center 
reduce the size and if it is not fitting right mouse click edit point and adjust this one all right it should look something like this and then send this to back now same thing goes here press ctrl d to duplicate rotate it with the help of this also you can rotate it and maybe you can put it here if you want this one to go back also you can just do like this you know this uh, stem also i'm going to make it back and this one it should come front okay again if you want this also to be back you can just send back like this all right and then again copy the same thing and put it here so this way you can complete the design of the leaves and then you can go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i can choose this particular block arc draw the block arc like this again you can reduce the size something like this all right rotate it or you can help with the help of this arrow you can rotate it like this increase the size by holding the shift key and adjust it properly so this way also you can add it or you can go to insert shapes you can use this arc also all right so shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i can give some gray color again if you want you can make it more uh, thinner also all right so like this and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape click it here reduce the size and i'm going to give the same color which i have used for this one so shape fill i'm going to use the steel color all right then go to insert text box you can put your title here make this as bold put it here and use the same color okay and then go to insert text box you can add details here okay reduce the font size maybe i'm going to give some gray color maybe write a line and put it here okay bring this more closer all right now it's very simple i'm going to select all these three shapes press ctrl d to duplicate and bring it here like this and here hold the ctrl shift key put it here and then move this one to this direction the same thing you can do it here also hold this by pressing ctrl shift key and move this here all right and you can add one more at the bottom and then if you want to do some basic animations i have used let me just go through close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this stem first and then i'm going to give a wipe animation effect okay and then this one again if you want you can give again the wipe wipe should come from the top and that should happen after previous so if i play it comes like this so similar same animation can be copied to the rest of the leaves